Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RTHG. In this episode, I actually got this new 5TB Seagate Backup Plus Portable Drive. And so we'll go through the unboxing and maybe some testing as well in this video as well. So stay tuned. The Seagate Backup Plus Portable Drive is USB 3.0 compatible with test speeds as high as 45 megabytes per second or 300 megabits per second. Its small compact design is perfect for travel and includes two years of rescue data recovery service and warranty. The portable drive is targeted for not just the average consumer but also photographers with its included two-year rescue service and two months Adobe Creative Cloud Photography plan. Absolutely free. Alright guys, so this is the portable drive by Seagate. It's a 5TB USB 3.0 Backup Plus portable drive. And this drive, uh, I believe it sells for an average of about 99 US dollars on Amazon. Uh, it goes up a little bit as well to this varying prices. I noticed some were $99, some were about $119, and then some were about $139. I got this for a little less than $1,200 in price mat, so I actually paid nearly uh, about a little less than $200 uh, US dollars, which was pretty high, but I mean, I'm far away from the US and so forth. So anyways, um, the reason why I bought this drive, before I just get into the unboxing very quickly, is um, I have this other portable drive this is a western digital 2.5 my pa passport ultra drive and this drive has been given uh, a, a warning on my smart software the smart software has actually said that there's one sector that seems to need rewriting so just in case because i had so much important data i decided i'd buy a new drive so that's how i ended up with this one so we're just going to unbox it really quickly and in this video hopefully i'll also switch over after we unbox it to do some tests and see what the performance is like on this drive so let's get going uh, what I have of course is uh, oh and the nice thing about this before I get into opening up is that it also comes with um, the, the some rescue data service recovery two years of peace of mind from Seagate I don't think I'll be using it unless I'm really really desperate of course because I'm quite in Trinidad and you know the US is really far and it's gonna cost me a lot to send the drive if that comes to that but that's really good two years peace of mind I mean, that kind of gives you the idea that it's going to be two years of warranty, which is better because I was always accustomed to uh, these uh, these portable drives being only one year warranty. But it seems that the local warranty is one year, but you actually get two years out of it. And it comes with also a complimentary one year offer of uh, MYLIO to organize your photos. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I don't think I'll be using it because I have my own organization um, tools as well, too. And just have a look at the back as well. I saw that it was quite interesting that they give you an Adobe, I don't know if you can see that there, Adobe Creative Cloud Photography plan as well. That's nice. Two months membership included. I don't know if I'll be using it either. I would love to, but um, I'm not seeing the actual plan. There's a plan apparently that costs 10 US dollars a month that my brother has been talking about, but I couldn't find it online. So the um, thing is, it's a small drive. It is not powered um, by an adapter, which might be, uh, it, it might be a downfall, but it's not necessarily a downfall because it's portable and it's for like you know like traveling and so forth as well too i'm not too sure how much i would trust the traveling as i said because of uh, my traveling with this didn't really help and i only traveled like once with this thing and this thing already is giving some trouble um but anyways coming back to this it says small drive massive storage we could see that definitely for windows and mac a compatible windows and mac it says windows 7 or higher mac os 10.11 or higher usb 3.0 which we definitely need there's a big difference between usb 2.0 guys if you don't know about this and 3.0 uh 2.0 i think the maximum you should expect is about between 10 to 20 megabytes per second while usb 3.0 on a usb 3.0 port would give you a lot more than that in terms of speed so that's what we would be testing as well too and um, it says it has a downloadable toolkit backup software as well. I'm not exactly too sure what that is. But that's kind of pretty much what it is. Nice, nicely packaged, I must say. Um, so that's what we're doing here. All right, so I think I have been able to get one piece open here. Okay. Nice. Oh, and now the actual plastic. Oh, the good thing is the actual plastic. You can actually slide this thing out right here. Oh, nice. Lovely. So, 
here we go guys this is pretty much the drive and um, I don't think there's anything else there's, there's nothing else inside this so we we'll probably just keep this out of the way for the time being and it comes with as a lot of manuals I see here uh, but how much manuals do you need for a drive I don't think you need that much there's a little sticky part here. Most of it seems to be in a different lang different languages, many different languages. So they just, you know, they advertise in this my Leo create thing here, which I don't really need that. Um, of course, it has a nice little, you know, just to tell you how to get started, how to plug it in, etc., which we already know as well too. And it shows you, it tells you about the data services, save time, peace of mind, etc. Uh, and I'm looking for and of course different languages and then I'm looking for okay so there's the Adobe cloud it explains I thought they would have like a serial number of some sort but I guess it, there isn't really a serial number it must be redeemed they say it must be redeemed by January 31st so maybe they'll ask you to log in and put in the serial number or whatever and that's how you probably get the service as well too alright so that's pretty much it and this is the drive so this comes with a standard USB cable uh, not no not a, well standard USB on this side and and the USB 3 cables usually have this blue thing at the top which kind of tells you and they are normally thicker they are a little bit thicker as well too so I kind of remember the name of this port but it's one of those ports it's not like a micro it's like a micro USB with a power port somehow you call it like that um, and this thing is in a sealed okay right so you just open the compartment here and you flip this thing around and there you go it's really nice it's really small I want to compare it with the size of the Western Digital that I have it's not absolutely black it's actually silver and the Western Digital is a little bit smaller but this is a 2.5 and this is a 5 gig so this is twice the amount I see one little LED light there as well which is nice and uh, this drive will be backing up this drive and then I'm gonna do a full low-level format on this drive um, to see how it goes but we'll do some testing I want to test the speeds and see what the speeds look like on crystal disk and uh, from there we'll go from there um, so what I could see is right there's just we one drag there's the LED light I assume the LED light here is going to show when it's on it might look like it's blinking but it's not blinking I don't know if that's just an anomaly on the uh, on the actual uh, camera and um, it's a bit square it feels quite uh, it's not heavy like maybe not like a pound maybe like about half between half and a whole pound and um, of course that's like the serial number etc here and it says a product made in Thailand it is Seagate um, and you know just some basic stuff so it's, there's not really much to it I think these are already formatted with NTFS as well um, so it's compatible with Windows out of the box and that's pretty much it so stay tuned and we're gonna flip over into Crystal Disk and we'll probably have a review as well Alright guys, so what you're seeing here is the drive now going to be powered on. I'm going to power it on through the USB here and hopefully we'll see something appear. And what you're seeing here actually is me on VNC on my makeshift network attached storage system. And so I put it on. Okay, so it detected automatically on Windows 10. We see backup plus D drive. And let's have a look very quickly at what's on the D drive nice and it has like um, you could start here for Windows so it comes with some applications here which we're not going to really test what I really want to test first of all is to check the disk info so we head over to crystal disk info I'm gonna rescan and that drive should pop up here now it says good and I want to have a look and see what the speed of it is so it seems to be that this is a 5400 rpm it says 5526 but it seems to be uh, 50 I would say it's a 5400 rpm drive um, so we're gonna have to do some tests as well with speed as well so let's have a look very quickly again at disk mark right so we're gonna have a look at this mark oh, I'm looking at the scene is seven hours power on so I guess they would have probably tested this drive and um, it says SATA 600 SATA 600 transfer mode so it's supposed to be a fast fast drive so let's let's have a look quick um, let's do that disk mark on it and uh, see how it works all right so for the sake of just doing a quick test I'm gonna choose one single test one gigabyte and let's have a look at all tests and see how well it does okay.
right, so not bad. Um, we see the read is 149 megabytes per second. That's quite, that's quite fast, actually. That's not uh, the SSD drive. My normal C drive is usually 250, so this is pretty good for 5400 RPM drive. Uh, kind of impressed already. Uh, but we'll have a look at the write speeds. Ooh, that's pretty good. 1.2. One more random read as it you know just it goes even lower wow okay all right so we go we give it a chance to do some sequential writes and see what the writes look like this is on a 3.0 usb hub connected uh we're gonna go on network transfer as well to test this out right we have to test out on network transfer and see how that looks as well so um this is originally 150 right is not bad either because that's maxed that probably max out even if i'm on the network the network will probably only give me 50 megabytes per second but to, but to see this test um looks fairly normal this area here on the ssd is where the ssd wins the ssd has about gets about 20 so it's about 20 times faster than these um so yeah we've seen some write speeds at lower that still higher than the reads. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I did a single test and it's not going to do an actual average of those. But so yeah, this is a random 4K. This is like four kilobytes writing. So writing smaller, reading smaller files seem to be taking longer, and writing smaller files also take longer. It seems that the one megabyte and larger seems to take a lot faster so that i mean that's understood because we're not going to be really using four kilobyte files we're actually going to use large files so i think overall this is pretty decent and uh with that being said i think I, that there's not really much more to speak about here um other than to make sure and look look to make sure you see like if all the counts are low all the counts here the thresholds um, and values need to be like literally zero this is where this is where I was happening you see there was a current pending sector count on the actual problem drive um, and that that was one so that's why I had to be very very careful about that so guys uh, thank you so much for viewing I think this is a decent drive this is a decent drive for those of you I would do oh I should probably do another test where I'll do some transferring as well all right guys so this is another um, example here where we are actually seeing a live backup so this is actually a backup happening from the 2.0 Western Digital, USB 2.0 Western Digital to the new drive that we unboxed there, the Seagate uh, 3.0 USB. And actually it's, it's quite interesting that it's actually at 45 megabytes per second, which is great. That's a great speed for 2.0 as well, because that's from a 2.0 drive. Uh, 2.0 port actually to a 3.0 port. It's a long story. I only have one single USB port that is 3.0. So. Um, it wasn't able to power both drives together, so I had to put one on to uh, the 2.0 slot and then one on the 3.0. So um, we're seeing some pretty decent speeds here happening. Um, consistent speeds, these are for large files, and as you can see, uh, 45 megabytes per second. So this is definitely something I would recommend. It, it probably would give you a little bit more, I would expect, if it was a 3.0 to 3.0 port. And so with that being said, I really want to thank you guys for uh, viewing this video and uh, of course uh, links to buy this product on Amazon to get it on Amazon is um, available in the description below and thanks so much for viewing see you guys again soon um, on another episode of RTHD coming to a YouTube screen near you take care bye bye